Hi folks, Martin Butler here again with another t-shirt, transfer and vinyl printing DVD. Now, a lot of you seem to be struggling on what, how to get graphics created and stuff like that. If you're, if you're using the ca uh, Silhouette Cameo, as I do, typing words out or getting words actually onto your graphics is actually very, very easy because you can just type in the actual Silhouette software and create your own words actually in the Silhouette Cameo software. Put your vinyl in and then cut the vinyl out and there's your words. And one of the easiest things to do, as I've mentioned in another t-shirt video, is to create t-shirts with slogans on or catchphrases, something like that. If you're mixing vinyls up as well with transfer papers or even just putting transfer papers on your own, on dark t-shirt transfer papers, you can't really use uh, print words because the cutting out and the laying on of a dark t-shirt transfer means you have to actually take the image off of its background as I've mentioned in my previous videos and then lay the individual image without its backing paper onto the garment and if you're having to line up words and letters and stuff that's a devil, devil's own job which is what I always use on a dark t-shirt if I'm using the graphic I will use a dark t-shirt transfer and if that has a catchphrase a, a phrase or a slogan or whatever or some text on it at all I will then use a, a vinyl so I've got a mixture of vinyl and a, a, a mixture of transfer papers but if you're looking for images and you don't know what to put on there you can find images online and you can get, actually get people to do them for you if you're not very creative or if you haven't got Photoshop or if you don't know anything about Photoshop so rather than set yourself a high learning curve of learning how to create an image have a little look online for some free clip art images and stuff like that or royalty free images so let's just pop over to the computer and have a quick look at where we can find some images or if we can't find any free images or we want something very specific then I'll show you a place where you can actually get images created for you very very cheaply. Right okay then so we're on the PC now and we're going to look for some places where you can get your own images created. Now I know a lot of people struggle with oh I don't really know what to put on my t-shirt and if I go to Google, Google Images that all them images are going to be copyrighted. Well, that's probably correct. But if you want to look for free images or free clip art, just do a Google search. Go to type in free clip art, do your Google search, and then you'll find stuff for free. Now, obviously, there's some images there. We've got loads of websites down here stating that the uh, images that they sell are royalty free or whatever, but do go to these websites and check, for example. But again, you're taking a chance there. All I would suggest you do is you go to a website called Fiverr. And that is at www.fiverr.com. That is F-I-V-E-R-R.com. Now, for those of you who don't know what Fiverr is, Fiverr is a website where you can basically get loads of totally different things done for $5. Uh, and what you basically do, you're, this is Fiverr at the time of this video, and all you do is you go to the search box, for example, and you type in, let's say, for example, cartoon. And you'll see in the drop-down box there all different things in there which you can possibly click on. Now, we, we're, we're going to both go for a, possibly a cartoon character. So let's type in cartoon character and press find services. Now, what Fiverr does now, all these individual things here are called gigs. Now these are from different people from all over the world, all willing to do what they suggest in their little advert for five dollars. So all you need to do basically is to choose one of these different gigs and then obviously look at the person. But what I tend to do when I go to the top of the page, you've got the recommended, you've got the highest rating and you've got the newest search criteria. At default it's on recommended. I tend to go for the highest rating and these normally you find the best people are at the top of the page basically so that's what I normally do so for example if I want some caricature or picture to put on my website yeah, there's a chap here who said he will draw your cartoon portrait so we'll click on him for example and he gives you a few examples on his gig this is called a gig don't forget he's got 543 reviews He's got 15 orders in the queue and he averages about two days turnaround. So you can see some examples of work he's done in the past there. Now as I say, if you're thinking of an image, it gives you a little bit about the, the uh, gig there. He will draw a cartoon character or portrait drawing uh, for profile picture on Facebook, Twitter, website, blah, 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 whatever. 
The five pound order is one colored headshot cartoon portrait of your photo, head and shoulders. You'll have it in a JPEG uh, or a PNG high quality drawing. Name or text on the cartoon if you like. A white background or your favorite color, no or no backgrounds, transparent. So he does all them sort of things. And each person's headshot cartoon portrait will be made for five dollars. You can add stuff to this gig, for example. You can add uh, an extra five dollars for a half a body, or an extra ten dollars for a full body cartoon character. So basically, if you decide that this is what you want, all you do is basically click on the order now and the basic gig quality which is five dollars and then what happens then is is that you then will be taken to a page where you send the, this person requires more information in other words if you've got a picture they will they will send you to a page where you can upload the picture to them and tell them exactly what you want and as I say this person for example is uh, obviously quite successful and does a lot of work so you've got pl plenty of reviews you can actually check on the reviews as well by clicking on that and you can see what other people have said about this person as well someone would do a pop art image of yourself for example let's look at this one for example there you go so they'll take a picture of you for example and then they'll pop art it for you so that's quite a, uh, a nice design and here you can see the person there this is the person who's uh, doing the, uh, the styling for example Read the documentation and the information of what you're actually getting. And if you like what you see, just hit the order now button. Now, for example, this one here says two days on average. Now, what that basically means is when you click the order now button, the money comes out of your PayPal account, but it doesn't go to the person until they've actually created and you've approved the work. So, for example, if I click the buy it now button and order this gig, from the payment that I've then got two days or that person's got two days to complete my image if after the two days they haven't completed it you are given the option to actually get your money back if they don't complete within the time that you've actually said so that's just another thing to be aware of as well so this is fiverr.com and it's a great place to get your t-shirt designs if you're no good at doing it yourself or failing that just go to Google do a Google search click on Google images for example and type in free clip art see what comes up you might see loads of stuff there but do go to these websites and check what the uh, images are and all I will say there one of the search things I do when I'm looking for an image for example in, in, if it's gonna be a free image go to your search tools and then choose the size and make it large images because a lot of these images would be small images and if you try to expand them on your t-shirt then that wouldn't work so as you can see, all these images now that are being shown to us now are large images. And if you hover the mouse over it, you can see the actual dimensions come up. This one, for example, is 16 by 1496 pixels. That one there, for example, is 1130 by 1009 pixels. And that just gives you an indication. And then you can add a picture. And then um, what you can do then is to put some writing above it. For example, if we chose the owl, we could download that image click view image there's the image right click on it save image as and then I'll call it whatever I want I'm going to save it on my desktop so we just click the desktop there and then we go well uh, let me call it owl and I'll reduce that down so when I look at my desktop somewhere on here there it is down the bottom there just to double click it there's my owl image so you just import that into your silhouette cameo software Go around the outline and you can put that on a transfer for example so there you go that's just showing you how you can actually buy some cheap graphics independent graphics or actually find some on the, on the net and then add some words above and below it and create your own unique t-shirts right okay then so i've been online i've got a few clip art images and i'm going to mix up some uh, vinyl with transfer papers so let's just take a look over at what i've printed off and we'll apply them to some t-shirts Right, as you can see, we're over here again at my cutting table, and I've got a few images which I've actually cut out. I've brought a little cow there, I don't know if you can see that, let's hold it up to you there. Now, I don't know if you can see that the actual colour definition is actually very, very good there. As you can see, lovely detail, and this is just my basic dye-based inks 
printed on a dark t-shirt transfer. So there's a little cow head, that's a bit of clip art I found. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some phrases over the, and below that. Something like this, for example. So I've got the words, I am a, and below it, a silly moo. So that's just a nice little graphic there, a little bit of comedy there for a t-shirt. So let's just put that to one side, that one there. I've also got this picture of an owl, which I've cut, again cut out on my cameo silhouette. It's just a basic bit of free clip art, which I found on the net. So again, that's gonna be down there. And I've changed the font this time. I've put a different font on it. And I've got, I don't give, and below it, a hoot. Just again, a little comedy happy t-shirt. And that's number two. Again, this is just standard black transfer vinyl. And again, as you can see there, I've just mixed the font up a little bit, as you can see. There's two slightly different fonts there. I can't remember what they are off, off of my hand, but again, all these are in your actual cutter, sim silhouette cameo uh, cutter software, all these fonts. So that's that one. And I've actually got, this is from a, a TV show, which I won't show you, to, it's a little bit rude this one, but I'm gonna do it because it's a little 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 thing for Jimmy. He, he used to like the, a TV show called The Inbetweeners on the TV. And, um, they had a t-shirt there, very similar to this. It's not an identical replica of the t-shirt, but it's just one that they wore in the show for a, a, a comedy show piece that they did. So I'll, I won't show you too close on that one, but I'll, I'll, I'll put it on the t-shirt and then you can see it afterwards. Right, so let's put these back up here for the moment, get these out of the way. Again, this is just a black transfer paper. Uh, sorry, this is just a white transfer paper, printed in black and white, so. Right, well, that's just had a quick pre-press now. So again, I've laid it on my worktop here and I like to keep things a little bit even here. As you can see, I've got that work surface underneath there, which has got measuring tapes down the side. Although I have actually folded this garment in half and pressed it, so I've got the line down the center, as I showed you in my last video. So I'm just gonna go and lay, what one should we go for? Let's put our little uh, owl on here, for example, I think. So we'll have the brown owl. I've got my center line, which I can just about see there. So I'm gonna put that center line going straight through him. And then let's start laying on the phrases. Now again, at the moment, I'm just eyeing these up with my center line, which I've already got on the garment there. But just as a safety reference, I'm just gonna take the letters and take the edge of the letters to the sleeve. Take the measurement there, which is there. And make sure that one's the same, which is exactly the same. So I'm happy with that, that one's in the right place. And just do the same with the edge of the first letter to the edge of the garment. Just take the measurement of that and then from the last letter to the edge of the garment, which this one's a little bit out, so that's got to go over a fraction. And that is perfect, so there we go. So I could stick them down, but I'm quite happy with them. And as you know, with regards to our transfer, I can't stick that down, so I'm just gonna put a little cover sheet over the top of it, just to keep it in situ. Do this carefully because they can move. There we go. So I'm happy with that. Fold the base in, fold the top in, and let's take that over to the press. There we go. Plonk that on the press. Lay it out flat. Woof. Drop the sides down, drop the back down. And there we go, push the plate back in. Get me color sheet. Now again, I'm pressing this at 30 seconds at 190 degrees, which is the actual transfer temperature. The vinyl temperature, if I was pressing just the vinyl, it would be down to 160 degrees for 20 or 15 seconds. But I'm gonna do the whole lot, just to show you that with this standard clothing vinyl and these transfer papers, you haven't got to be that critical. As long as you're heating the transfer paper up enough to heat the glue into the actual garment. So let's pull that down, clip that in place, and we're now counting down for our 30 seconds. So I've just sped the time up a little bit there, as you can see, and we're now down to the last three seconds. Up she comes. Now don't forget, as I said to you, this is a cold peel product, both the vinyl and the actual paper itself. I'm lucky that I can pull this out if you want to, uh, if you have one of these presses. And all I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna place this on a cold window just to cool this off a little bit. Right, okay, I've done that. So let's put it back on the press, just so we can peel this off and show you what we've got. Uh, that's our um, transfer paper, which is actually taken fantastically. 
and just pull off the um, cover for the vinyl paper. For some reason, you like watching me do vinyl and graphics uh, graphics t-shirts with transfer papers. I've had loads of messages about this, so hopefully this will just give you some sort of ideas. And there you go, there's another one. That don't look too bad, does it? Let's have a close look at that myself. Yeah, again, I quite like that one. Get you near it, let's hold you right near it, hold on. I don't know if you can see that. Nice graphic. Again, just a copyright free bit of clip art that. And all I'd done was I added a little bit of a phrase to it just to turn it into a little comedy t-shirt. So there you go, I don't give a hoot. Right, okay then, let's put that to one side, I like that. There's another one there. We'll do the other one now with the cow on. Right, so I said, all I'm gonna do here, now I I'm gonna try and see if you can find, see the um, the moisture in these t-shirts. They come a little bit wrinkled, obviously. I mean, they are uh, coming, but we get, we get them in bulk normally, but as I say, I'll give them a quick five second blast. And as you can see how that flattens out, but can you see that moisture, look? I don't know if you can see that. It dries pretty quickly on the plate, but, um, as I say, I go around the whole garment and just quickly press the whole lot. And that just, when you when you package these up for sale as well, as you can see the difference there, for example, look between uh, sort of both bits. One looks all wrinkly there, that bit there, and that looks lovely and flat. So it's just worth doing. I do it, so, you know, it's, it's entirely up to you whether you do it or not, but it's just, you get into the habit of doing this like I do, and that's just, that's all there is to it. Right, okay then, number two. This is a sort of a, a stone wash, what's this, a beige t-shirt? Yeah, I'd say it's sort of a beige. It's in a large again, but um, again, I'm, again, I'm just gonna measure the old fashioned way on this one, from ear to ear. And that's 20 to the armpit seam, 19 and a half. Right, I'm happy with that one. So now we'll put on um, the phrase. Again, I just made these up off the top of my head. So if you find a bit of generic clip art like we've done here, you can you can you know you can come up with totally different phrases, but um, and make an individual garment. And these are just fun things for the summer. If you make a job lot of these, and I'm sure you'll be able to sell these on Facebook, because um, or even if you typed in uh, cow t-shirt on um, eBay, for example, just see what comes up. See if other people are doing them. Just having a little measure there can just make sure that you get things in the right place. And I'm just altering it now. There is a grid thing you can buy to uh, lay on your t-shirts. It's okay, I, I haven't got one, I've never used one in, in the thousands of t-shirts that I've done. So perhaps if you're doing um, like polo shirts, for example, you might want to use something like that, but um, I personally, I've never bothered with it myself. Everything's in the right place. Get me a little piece of uh, Teflon cover in there. Just drop it on, fold her up, fold her over, Get me a large piece of Teflon sheet. Close it down. And 30 seconds are off. Yeah, these are just fun t-shirts for the summer. Try selling them on Facebook. It's up to you. What we tend to do at Christmas, we make sort of a Santa Claus ones and Christmas trees ones. When the little kids go to school with them on, the other parents want them as well, so this is just another little way in. There we go. I'm just gonna give this one a bit of a wave. Let's take that top one off first. Just give it a bit of a wave over. There we go. Pull off the uh, lettering. Number two, right, there we go. Let's show you lovely people, this one. There we go. I'm a silly moo. Is that silly moo? Yeah, it is a silly moo. Very, very nice. Again, I'm well pleased with that one as well. Again, vinyl and a free bit of clip art. And make your own individual t-shirts. In Photoshop, if you know how to work Photoshop, you can actually change the colour of this cow, for example. That's, that's not for me to teach in this sort of uh, example, but... If you do find a bit of clip art and it's not matching the jumper or the garment that you actually like, you can actually change the colour in Photoshop. Or if you go to that website, which I showed you earlier on, you've only got to go there and say, can someone recolour that for me? If you're going to be making lots and lots of them sort of thing. So if you don't know how to do it, either learn the skills to change the colour of something in a piece of software yourself, or get someone else to do it for you. 
There's another one there, look. I'm well pleased with that. Very nice. Now this one is from the film The Inbetweeners. And this was just a garment that they um, wore in, in one of the films. I think it was one of the films. I can't remember. But um, the youngsters tend to love them. I've never printed these off because I wouldn't print these off to make. I'm only just showing you what the sort of thing that you can actually do um, with transfer papers. Normally, something like this would be screen printed because the image is a multicolour. I want to say multicolour, it's not just one wording, so you can't just do it in vinyl. Although, I suppose you could layer the vinyl if you were using black and white uh, vinyl. But it would be pretty awkward to make an image like this because it's a picture as opposed to like a logo. So, you know, I'm just using, showing you that you can use the transfer papers for uh, a, an image and using the white of the transfer paper as the actual white of the image instead of actually painting on it. Although we've actually got black ink on it as well. So the transfer paper is only black and white. Right, so you might as well stay there. I'm just gonna line this one up and then I'll come back. Right, okay then, so we just put this one on here. Flip it over, like that. Bring that one down. And cover it all up. Let's press, baby. Now again, in these images I'm showing you here, I'm not suggesting that you do these ones and then try to sell these. This one, for example, uh, is just like a, a demonstration purpose, this one. So this one may be copyrighted, I don't know. So I'm not gonna be selling this one at all. I'm just showing you the sort of thing that you can actually achieve. There we go. Just turn the heat press off. I don't need that on now. Take that off. Give it a wave about. Down she goes. Out there like that. And out there like that. <laughs> and there we go, very similar. I won't hold you this one close up. <laughs> the image is a little bit rude on it. But as you can see there, that is a, a replica t-shirt of one from the show, The Inbetweeners. And that is done again with transfer paper and also my vinyls. So there you go, as you can see there, we've got a lovely selection of highly colorful t-shirts now, all with their own uh, unique images on and also done with transfer paper and vinyl. And I'm sure you'll agree that if you was out in the sunshine, wearing one of these would make not only you, but make everybody else feel happier as well. Anyway, thanks very much. Hope you enjoyed this little one. Hope you got something from it. Don't forget to rate, comment, and subscribe. And don't forget to share my videos. The more people that see my videos, the more videos I can start producing, as I say. So if you want to see more of this, don't forget to share my videos on Facebook, for example, or something like that, or Pinterest, or anything like that. So please share my videos, and I'll do, obviously, a lot more of these sort of videos for you. Thanks very much, and see you in the next video. Bye for now.